Before the roof of the cafeteria collapsed at Gonzales Elementary in Tolleson in June, Arizona's family learned the school hadn't been inspected in more than nine years. That's why Arizona Education Association President Marisol Garcia says Governor Hobbs' executive order is a much-needed step in the right direction. These schools need to be evaluated, and they have not been for many years. She says there are some Arizona schools more than 50 years old that are just getting around to replacing the air conditioning, a symptom of years of deferred maintenance and a lack of funding. I'm hopeful that we can turn a page and just focus on what's next. Governor Hobbs' executive order directs state employees to do in-person inspections at all school buildings at least once every five years, just like the law requires. She said all students deserve safe schools regardless of zip code. Thankfully, no one was inside Gonzalez Elementary School when the roof collapsed. The cafeteria is not going to be open. The kitchen is going to be open. And uh, the new cafeteria is going to be in um, the gymnasium. An Arizona Department of Administration spokesperson says that the school facilities division is in the process of preparing to perform these assessments on a regular schedule to fulfill the executive order. When these start happening on a more regular basis, Garcia hopes Arizona schools will get some much needed clarity. Is it just air conditioning? Is it piping? Or is it just as simple as the fact that we don't have enough um, areas for our students to be safe if there's a, you know, a, a heat advisory. Those are things we just don't know, and it's because the school facilities board has not been funded. A spokeswoman for the Department of Administration says the state has struggled to keep up with inspections because of a lack of dedicated funding, but in this fiscal year, they have $1 million set aside to do these assessments, so a little help is on the way, Jerry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my gosh, that's such an alarming close call, right, too close, yes. right? So um, we have so many school buildings in the state. What's it going to take for the inspections to sort of get back on track to where they should be? Yeah, so they need to do about 81 assessments per year to get back on track. They're still working out the logistics when it comes to making sure that that's able to happen, but that is what they need to do in order to kind of cut into that deficit yeah. that's been happening. Yeah, we got to keep our students safe. Elliot, thank you for that.